take over and manifest my prayer for you this season that you will take over and you will manifest in the name of jesus i appreciate those people that are watching my video and i appreciate those people that are just seeing it and um, if you are coming to my video for the first time i want you to click on subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that anytime i release a video like this you will be the first to know now to manifest is to prosper i wish above all things that thou might prosper even as thy soul prospereth. it is good whenever a parent woke up in the morning a parent will always pray for his or her child to prosper in life that's why i'm saying it to you and those people that are my subscribers and others that are watching me right now that you will surely prosper and you will surely manifest in life in the name of jesus now two things that will make you to manifest two things that will make you to take over completely king pharaoh handed over to joseph to take over because the spirit of the lord was upon him the fear of the lord is a takeover spirit king pharaoh handed over to joseph to take over because he has seen that there is nobody that can do all what joseph has said concerning the interpretation of the king than him himself he's the only one that can do it that's why i said joseph you are to take over so now when you talk about take over because if you fear the lord with all your heart the takeover spirit is already in your life so the number one thing you are going to consider is that the fear of the lord if you fear god with all your mind with all your heart with all your understanding definitely you are going to take over so the fear of the lord is a takeover spirit the fear of the lord is a takeover what spirit how uh, there's a reference say all things bright and beautiful all creatures great or small all things bright and wonderful the lord has made them all so we are beautifully and wonderfully made when you know that in your life that means you have to take over because you are beautifully made by god all things he created they are for signs and wonders all things he created they are for you and your entire household to enjoy on this planet of earth you cannot control if you fail to bow down to the controller you cannot control you cannot take over if you fail to bow down to the controller then the question i want to ask is who is your controller who is in charge of your life your life must not just be like that there are two people that are fighting to take over your life as the controller is it that god or the devil you cannot have success if you don't rely on the excellence father the father of all excellence which is god you cannot have breakthrough without this god almighty you cannot have testimony without this god almighty you cannot have upliftment in your working place you can have promotion if not for this god almighty so god is in charge of everything all to him all things are possible you cannot have money you cannot have financial breakthrough if you don't bow down to the controller himself which is god because it says silver is mine gold is mine the heart is the lord and the fullness thereof the world and those people that dwell it dear him he founded it upon the sea and established it upon the flood he said who shall ascend if you want to ascend that means you are qualified to have money riches in life who shall ascend to the hill of the lord or who shall come into his holy places the bible says those that have a clean hand and a pure heart so if you really want to enjoy god 100 percent want to enjoy success 100 percent breakthrough 100 percent there is nothing you will do than to know this the fear of the lord fear god by embracing the law of the fear of the lord you are moving from prison to palace you are moving from poverty to prosperity you are moving from bondage to freedom you are moving from stagnancy to moving forward you are moving from lower rank to higher rank you are moving from the edge of demotion to promotion you are moving from nothing to abundance 
that is your portion if you fear the lord with all your heart so also you are moving from bad luck to good luck you are moving from ill luck to successful you are moving from bad news to good news you are moving from loneliness to partnership with people that matter in life so if you have the fear of the lord it will place you right it will place you right abundantly for promotion comments neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south but god is the judge he put it down one and set it up another you are going to say god you are the most high i fear you that is why i believe you are taking me from lower level to higher level continue to prophesy from failure to abundance you are taking me from lower level to higher level you are taking me from barrenness to fruitfulness you continue to say it because i fear you i fear you lord i believe in you because you are the one that can do all things in the name of the lord when you are doing this please make sure you do it in a place where no one is there you continue to key you continue to attach yourself to the god of the universe on daily basis and by the time you are looking at it by the time you are putting your mind connected to god all the time you will not have any reason to regret because god himself is the author and the finisher of your faith then number two you must love god don't forget number one number one is you must fear the lord number two you must love god but as it is written i had not seen not hear heard, neither have entered into the heart of men the thing which god had prepared for them that love him you don't know what god has really prepared for those that has already love him for example if a child really love a mom you know and the mom know that the child has already loved her so much Anytime the mom is coming home, mom will be thinking of what she will buy to surprise the child. So that means no matter how, if you love the Lord, there, is an, there are some hidden things which are benefit for you that the Lord will keep and will reveal to you one after the other. So blessing is always your portion because you have loved him first. And Solomon loved the Lord walking in the status of David, his father. For he was wiser than all men and his fame was in all nation run about his fame was in all nation run about because what he loved the lord thou shall love the lord thy god with all thy heart with all thy soul with all thy mind you have to eat prison with passion eat poverty with passion eat setback ill luck bad luck loneliness with passion eat demotion with passion because when you hate them with passion, God himself that you love will not give you the opposite in return. Now bow down your heads as I'm going to bow down my heads now right now and raise your hand and begin to prophesy. Lord, I embrace breakthrough. I embrace prosperity, peace, success, good news, happiness. I embrace promotion, connection, wealth, acceptance in the name of Jesus are the two things to do for you to take over and manifest you will manifest just go to this comment section and say i will manifest that is the question for today is this mention in the comments three more ways to take over and manifest we've talked about the first one that the fear of the lord if you fear god that's number one you can man you manifest that is the must number two is that you should love god with all your heart and with all your mind if you love god number three is for you now just go to the comment section below and give me the third one or if you have more ways to manifest just put it there so but before you do that you say i will manifest in jesus name these are likely three more ways for me to manifest so you mention the three and you will explain a little if you can explain a little god bless you take care of yourself so if you are watching me for the first time as i've said please go to the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so that anytime i release a video like this you will definitely i mean it definitely be the first to know i love you all Bye for now. God bless you. Amen.